Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mrs. Phil Ostas proudly presents Columbus Sails West. Long ago, people sailed east from Europe to get to India and China. Christopher Columbus thought he knew a better way he wanted to sail west. Christopher Columbus needed money to pay for his trip. He needed ships, food, supplies, and sailors. He knew this trip would cost a lot, so he decided to ask the king and queen of Spain for the money he would need. Dear king and queen, I think I know best. We should not sail east, we should sail west. There's just one problem with what you say, India and China are the other way. But you see, that's part of the plan I found. I'm going to sail the whole world around. No, Columbus, we do not agree with you. We will not pay for what you want to do. Columbus was disappointed, but he did not give up. He asked King Queen two more times. This could bring your country to this could This trip could bring you fame. Every country will be wishing they were as brave as Spain. Finally, the third time Columbus asked the king and queen agreed to help him. All right, Columbus, we will pay for your trip. Go ahead, you may start loaning your ships. So Columbus sailed west. He took three ships and 90 sailors with him. The ships were named the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. I'm afraid of this new way to go. Well, the sea monster comes and swallows us whole. I want to go home. This is no place for me. Stay strong. We will reach dry land soon. You will see. Columbus and his crew sailed for two months. Finally, they spotted land. Christopher Columbus thought they had reached the East Indies. They had not. They were really in the land we now call America. The sailors meant the Native Americans who lived there because they thought they were the East Indies. They called them Indians. Each year on Columbus Day, we remember Christopher Columbus's voyage and the brave indigenous people he met in the 